So there are three traditional approaches to speaker cabinets. You have a seal cabinet, which effectively has no port anywhere in the cabinet. You have ports, so that can be a circular port, a vented port. It could be on the side, it can be in the rear, it can be on the front. Uh, and then you have passive radiators. Passive radiators tend to either be on the side or in the rear of the speaker. So typically passive radiators you'll see are effectively another speaker. They don't have to be the exact same driver that's in the low frequency driver, but they have to be something similar. Typically they don't do anything other than push the internal cabinet pressure out of the box. Uh, there's no audio that typically passes through them, although you will see like and certain ones you'll see them vibrate and so people get this feeling or this thought that it's actually a sub which it isn't the job is just to release that pressure what we did is went with a sealed cabinet we decided not to mess around with any of those things their trade-offs we didn't want to make trade-offs we don't have to deal with issues of port turbulence phase or any of those those problems with a sealed cabinet there is a downside in that if you don't have a driver that can move air and enough of it to help that internal cabinet pressure that builds up inside, then you get what's, you get a really shallow low frequency response. Think of something like an NS10. NS10s don't really have any low frequency information below 70 cycles or 70 Hertz. Now, our solution to that was the fact that the low frequency driver that we use has the ability to move a metric ton of air. It's a lot more than a lot of other companies put if they're using sealed cabinets. That allows us to get a much lower, much deeper low frequency response and extension out of all of our speakers. Even the smaller ones that we make go much lower than you would expect them to go. Yeah, any, any speaker designer will tell you that a sealed cabinet is better approach fundamentally overall than a ported cabinet or a passive radiator. Partly because the ported cabinet and the passive radiator tend to be trade-offs for achieving something that's harder to do in a sealed cabinet. And again, that goes back to the point about the low frequency driver it needs to be able to move. And if it can't move, it doesn't have enough like a uh, like excursion. It's not going to. It, it's it's going to ultimately do the same thing. Like a boundary issue is you're just getting all that cancellation happening inside of the box.